For the people of Tibet, community is important. That's why they packed themselves into this Buddhist temple in Queens. Today, they're celebrating the birthday of a major religious figure. Events like this are common, though. And we have these uh, community programs which we do like on a daily basis, every month or like a couple of months. And I want to participate. All of us, we get together. The Tibetans of New York are one of the largest Tibetan communities in North America. Despite this, they lack one major necessity. Yet, uh, we are, even we are the largest, so we don't have a community center. Of the 7,000 Tibetans living in New York and New Jersey, 60 to 80 percent live in Queens. Tibetans are drawn to the borough's diversity and affordability. But without a community center, restaurants like this one often become where Tibetans eat their food, meet their friends, and share news from back home. But this is about to change. The Tibetan community has agreed to purchase this property in Woodside, Queens. They believe it will fit their needs well. We want uh, to have our language and cultural and performing classes there. So our, mainly our Sunday school lang language programs should be at that venue, as well as our uh, cultural programs and community events. So we want to have a big hall that could accommodate all that. After a decade of fundraising, the Tibetan community has around $6 million in the bank. If they end up purchasing this site, the rest of the money would go towards a long list of renovations. This means it could be several years before the center is actually ready to open. Until then, the Tibetans of Queens must crowd into small spaces like this one. They may be cramped, they may be uncomfortable, but at least they leave knowing they are Tibetans. Justin Mitchell, Queens.